Well, one frequent comment I hear about the Catholic Church is that the Church has too many rules. And to a certain extent, they're right, but not so much rules as they are standards that we are called to live as God's holy people. As does the Jewish faith. You look in the scriptures in the uh, books of the law, there are many rules, or I like to say standards, standards of worship, standards of the moral life, standards of family and society, that both the Jewish people are called to live by God, as well as we in the Catholic Church. We have a very thick catechism of the Catholic Church that applies the gospel teaching to every aspect of our life. But those are standards that we are called to live as a community of faith. In terms of rules, believe it or not, the Catholic Church has only five rules that we are called to observe. And those rules are referred to as the precepts of the Catholic Church. And they can be found in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, beginning on paragraph number 2041, 2041, and the subsequent paragraphs following them. And the Catechism of the Catholic Church states that the precepts of the Church are set in the context of a moral life bound to and nourished by liturgical life. And the obligatory character of these positive laws is meant to guarantee to the faithful the very necessary minimum in the spirit of prayer and moral effort in the growth in love of God and in love of neighbor. And there are only five of those precepts that we are obliged to follow as Catholics. And they are very simply, number one, Mass on Sundays and Holy Days of Obligation. Number two, receiving the Sacrament of Reconciliation, Confession, once a year, preferably during the season of Lent. Three, receiving the Holy Eucharist in communion at least once a year during the Easter season, if not on Easter Sunday itself. Four, observing the days of fasting and abstinence. And five, providing for the needs of the church, which is basically contributing in the collection and in assisting in the ministry and ministerial life of the local parish and the church at large. And so these five rules or five precepts of the church constitute the very minimum of what it means to be a practicing Catholic. But this is by no means the only things that we do. As a minimum, we are called to go above and beyond those precepts. Because as Jesus tells us in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, verse 10, after you've done all you have been commanded to do, say, we are unprofitable servants because we have only fulfilled our obligations. And so let us see these precepts and ponder these precepts and what they call us to reflect as Catholic people. But let us also see them as merely a beginning of how we are called to live the very high standards as followers of Christ in the Catholic Church.